see I just uh, arrived in the robo taxi, the cyber cab. And uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, so you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> we'll find out. So our autonomous future is, is here. Um, as I said, we've got 50 Teslas driving autonomously. Um, we're trying to give you a sense of what, what cities will be like in the future. And uh, when, you, when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Um, so, and we, you know, we have enough vehicles here so everyone should be able to, to try it out and uh, experience the this, this set that we've built here. Um, it's a very big set, so it's like really, we've, we've used, sort of, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 acres or something like that. It's really big. So it's, it goes on, it, the ride's long. <laughs> Um, and we, 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 set it up to, we set it up to feel like a, like a ride, like a park ride. So it'll be, it'll be cool, uh, and you'll get to experience it tonight. So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to un, unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. It'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. We, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab, that, which is really um, hi highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but, but in, tw in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll make this, this vehicle in very high volume. And, um, but well before that, you will, you will experience the, uh, a robotic taxi via the Model 3 and Model Y program, and Model S and X too, uh, but uh, the, the model, the, the th your 3 and Y will be, uh, will achieve uh, unsupervised full self-driving um, with, with permission in where, wherever regulators essentially approve it in the U.S. and then to, and then to follow in uh, outside the U.S. So, and it's Cybertruck too, yes, of course, sorry, I don't want to be, yes, 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 all our cars, uh, basically, um, all cars that we make. So, one of the reasons why oh, the, the, the computer can be so much better than a person is that we have millions of cars that are training uh, in, on driving, so it's like, it's like living millions of lives simultaneously and seeing very unusual situations that a person in their entire lifetime would not see, but <laughs> hopefully, um, yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously going to be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. 
Um, and it's also, it can see in all directions simultaneously. And it doesn't get tired or, or text or any of those things. So uh, it will naturally be, like, like I said, uh, 10, 20, 30 times safer than a human, just um, for all those reasons. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So yeah, it's kind of how it should be.